Why you should read the Everyday Hero Manifesto. As you know, I'm a very avid reader. How about you? Have you read any good books lately? Hi, this is Coach Jim Johnson. I recently finished a fantastic book by Robin Sharma called The Everyday Hero Manifesto. It is a lengthier book, but it flows very nicely with very short chapters and incredible content. In this video, I will give you my thoughts and main takeaways on this book. I strongly feel anyone looking to improve their daily life should check it out. Have you read it yet? If not, make sure you do and let me know what your thoughts are. Number one, be faithful to your ideals. Second thought, be an encourager to others and provide positive reinforcement. Did you have someone from your childhood, a teacher, a coach, someone else that provided you with hope and words of encouragement that has stayed with you? Pretty powerful, isn't it? Third thought is this. Setbacks are life's way of testing your dreams. How bad do you want your dreams to come true? Another thought is this. Achieving world-class status is less about genetics and more about your daily habits. Number five is adopt more daily practices to refine your talents and reveal your true abilities. Next one is victims are prisoners of can't. There's a very nice diagram on page 28 of the victim to hero chart. Check it out. Next thought is this, always be kind and mentor others when you can. Next thought is as parents, serve others. Another great thought is this, a very nice statement from his father talking about crying at birth and be ready to take on the world. Another powerful thought is this, all history makers were initially ridiculed before they were revered. Next up is every human has the ability to turn ideas into results, setbacks into successes, and promises into prowess. You can do it. Another principle he calls is use the IPOP principle. Input positively and you will output positively. Another thought is those who don't make time for exercise must eventually make time for illness. Not a good alternative. Then he talks about four exterior empires, the mind set, the heart set, the soul set, and the health set. In development, mastery requires breakthroughs through breakdowns. Remember this, comparison is the thief of joy. Teddy Roosevelt said that. Tomorrow is an idea and today is real. Choose to live life patiently, elegantly, and immaculately. Everything you find easy, you once found hard. The good you do lasts a lifetime, so keep doing good. And at the end, he lists off 25 of his favorite books. I highly recommend you check it out. But this book had so many wonderful golden nuggets that I highly recommend that you dig in and find your own gold. I believe it can help your life immensely.